Welcome everybody to the installation of a soft slam. Brand new house, I have five to fit here. Starting with this is the tools I need. 32mm drill bit, spade bit and a 32mm spade bit. A drill, circular pliers. Now we're going to mount it just above that bottom hinge. <coughs> Close the door. And look at the gap. If the gap is less than the flange thickness, we'll have to recess the flange in to suit. So if the flange is zero, if the gap is zero, then the flange will have to be fitted flush completely before drilling the 22 millimeter hole. So here we go. Doing this in place, which you can do in most places. Here with architraves, I can put it through into the wall. Or you have a choice, you can put it into the door with a push plate on the jam. So I start with a 32mm drill bit. The door gap, as I could see, was around 2mm. Flange is 3mm, so I want to recess this in around a mill and a half, two millimeters. So here I go. Take your time. All the time in the world. Take me 10 minutes to fit, so it wouldn't matter if it took you half an hour or whatever it took. Just check as you go. Pretty much the center of that rebate. I work in centers, it's easy. No measurements required. Here we go. Recess the flange. If the flange is proud, it's just like a hinge. If the hinge touches each other, it's going to bind. So therefore it's going to push the door outwards. So there needs to be a clearance between the soft slam flange and the push plate. Now I can bore the hole. Make sure you've the hole is through. There's no lips in that that would stop the soft slam from fitting in. Now here I go now. I'm going to slide it in and test that it slips and slides without anything stopping it from going in. Yes, it fits in there quite nicely. Now I'll pull it out and I'll oval the entrance. Just allowing the thread a bit easier to screw it in. It's up to you how much you want to do. You just round off that entrance. To make screwing it in a lot easier. Test and check. If it's too tight, just take it out and do a little bit more so the screwing it in is easier circuit pliers. Now make sure you push in on the two holes provided so the circuit pliers don't slip out. And screw it in so it's nice and firm. Now just checking here now just to see that it's I'm proud. When I close the door, it'll push an indent. So now it's put an indent on the door. So now I'm going to take it back out. Once again, take your time. If you're only fitting one, well, it's not a big job. Fitting two, you get better as you go. Get faster like most things. 
Now I've got an indent on the door, so I know where my center is going to be. Also, on each edge of the edge of the spade pit, as you get closer, you can determine that you're within the door sides. You just want to be center. Once again, just take your time. The push plate is only a couple more thick, so just check as you go. It can be a little bit out. <coughs> it's not very, not a big one. But like again, if you just take your time, you see that it's nice and got the right depth for the push plate. Now what I do here now is I'll swap the 32 back to a 22. The spade bit seems to have a, a slight circumference that makes it like a, a little bit of a round. I'm just taking off any any burrs, any bits that would stop the push plate from sitting in flat. As you can see. The slight camber on the spade bits, so it does create a little bit of a round. Here today I'm using Sally's All Clear. For one, it's all clear, a nice tack to it. Now you could use uh, construction adhesive, uh, anything really. But the clear silicon is a nice product to use. A bit cleaner. I just put a dab on there. I'll put it in place, I can turn it around. So it gets a good covering. Push it in and turn it. And now I'll proceed to put the soft slam back in. When you only got one or two to do, circuit pliers works. It's a tool you could have lying around. It's an easy, cheap enough tool to buy. You know, just checking it, make sure there's no bits and hanging off or excess silicon or glue. <coughs> now I'm going to demonstrate that the soft slam actuates before it gets to my fingers, and my fingers are quite fat. So for a child's fingers, a lot less than mine, mine would be a good 18 millimeters thick. So I'll put my hand in there and it, see, it actuates, it hits the soft slam before it gets to my fingers, so, and it's quite loose there. 